Coming up on PE this week, gunshots ring out in a Highland shopping center. Suspect uh, was shot and died here at the scene. Plus, a police pursuit in Riverside ends in gunfire. And one year after the death of Carrie Thomas, her killer remains unknown. And I still believe that somebody in this town knows who he is. PE this week starts now. Thanks for joining us on PE This Week, a look at news from across the inland area. I'm Pep Fernandez. We start the show with an officer-involved shooting in Highland. San Bernardino County Sheriff deputies were in a shopping center near the corner of Del Rosa and Highland Avenues for a rape and robbery investigation. Deputies approached the suspect at the shopping center, but the suspect fled. The suspect then fired a gun at the deputies. The deputies returned fire, killing the suspect just outside the H Salt Fish and Chips restaurant. One of our deputies was shot in the leg and the suspect uh, was shot and died here at the scene. Check with PE.com for more details on this story. A police pursuit in Riverside ended with this great truck dotted with bullet holes. At around 4 a.m. this past Friday, police began pursuit on this truck before the driver lost control and crashed the truck on the corner of Magnolia and Donald Street. The suspect fled on foot and was eventually apprehended by a canine unit in a neighboring yard. A number of cars and houses in the area were hit by stray bullets. One man is dead and another in jail after two longtime friends got into a confrontation on Tuesday night in Riverside. 31 year old Kevin Scott Mansfield is being held on $1 million bail for fatally cutting his good friend Josh Sebald. The two friends had been drinking at Mansfield's home prior to the confrontation. One year after the murder of Carrie Thomas, her family is still seeking answers. Thomas was shot and killed outside the Visterra Credit Union in Moreno Valley while getting money out one night after work. Although it's been a year since her murder, Thomas's parents still hope the killer will be caught. And I still believe that somebody in this town knows who he is. But that's, again, just my, my opinion. And he's still out there somewhere. A pair of suspects are wanted in four separate lottery scam thefts in Riverside last month. The common factor in these scams is that the suspects are targeting Spanish-speaking females. Here's video of the suspects, the man with the blue sweater and black hat, and the woman wearing the black jacket and black pants. This is surveillance video of the Goodwill store at Magnolia and Elizabeth in Riverside. 60 demonstrators marched three miles on Monday to protest the Lake Elsinore School District's cuts to transportation funding. The cuts would eliminate 35 to 40 driver jobs and affect nearly 4,000 students who would ride the buses. This route that we're walking along 74, also known as the Bloody Road, is a route we're going to have to take to get from the area north of Lake Elsinore to Temesco Canyon High School. It's a four and a half mile walk. We've been at it for over an hour and we're not even close. The Santa Ana Trail from Redlands to Newport Beach continues to make progress. The trail will wind through the inland area before ending at the ocean. It's a big project, but it's coming along. Even though with all the moving parts, we have the political will in place with our elected leaders who want to see it happen. So they're, they're very eager to work together across county lines and across jurisdictional boundaries. A group of ladies in Riverside are ready to rock. The Jezebels are an all-female rock choir. One of the members calls them just a bunch of girls who love to sing their hearts out, putting a new spin on some popular songs. The group got its start a year and a half ago thanks to Kelsey Dyer. I just wanted to create um, an outlet for women to express themselves um, through rock and roll. And, um, and yeah, so we've been going pretty strong for about a year and a half now, 13 girls. So it's been cool. Now that's a cool story that sounds great. I'm Pep Fernandez. Join us next Thursday for another installment of PE This Week. See you then.